Spider Fan 101. I'm here today. Well, I'm not in my room right now, but I'm here today to talk about which Fantastic Four film I, th well, which Fantastic Four franchise should I say I think is definitive. Now, it's no secret that the Fantastic Four is one of the greatest comic book families ever created. Like, it's it's a no-brainer. But um, recently there uh there was a film that was based on them. I count in 2015 that, you know, a lot of people said was the death of the Fantastic Four. And, you know, I'm not really, I, I wouldn't really agree with that because um, this film, if you've ever watched this film, it's literally like they took the Fantastic Four out of the comics and put them into a movie. And then that's what this was like. It, it's great. Well, both of them are great. Uh, the film that came out in 2015, yes, I own it, because uh, I enjoy it for what it is. Um, this film, I like too. I mean, it was a different take on the characters that we know and love. And they took, like, a darker approach that I thought was very interesting. And, you know, I think they did it. I think they did an okay job with it. So, if I were to answer the question... Which one is more definitive between the one that came out between the ones that came out in 2005 and 2007 and the one that came out in 2015? I would say I would say this because this is literally like taking the characters out of the comics and putting them in a movie and you know that's what the Marvel Cinematic Universe does and I appreciate that. Also adding the whole theory with the multiverse that happened in Doctor Strange technically all the films that are Marvel related would be in continuity because you know with the multiverse and all that so but I'm gonna get into that in another video so yeah to answer the question this one is more definitive uh, I'm SpyFan101 saying peace